But first off, have you ever been in a run like this before? I mean, three home runs in one game. Have you done that before? And then two grand slams in four days? Are you kidding me? What's going on? I, I definitely have not. This is the first time doing that, but I've been feeling great up there. And it's a, sure is an amazing feeling. Is it uh, anything different that you've done with your swing lately? I mean, it, everything looks like it's the same. You've had the, the same smooth stroke all season long. It's just a matter of what at, at bats and getting a chance to get out there a bit more. Or what is it? Exactly. Just uh, just getting comfortable in the box with seeing more pitching and more pitches. And uh, I've been working with my hitting coach a lot on just some little things and everything's starting to come together and click. Hey, you guys have had some pretty amazing performances all year long. Um, I'm going to ask you to exclude yours just because, you know, you can't vote for yourself. But the debate with everybody, I think, around the team right now is who's had the better performance, maybe individually. Is it Ashton McGee, nine batted in, almost hit for the cycle, or Nesto Martinez hits for the cycle? What's number one in your book, the thing that's kind of just made your jaw drop and performance-wise from a teammate this season? Uh, number one is definitely McGee. Same, same thing with him. I mean, we've been working on a lot of the same things, and it's awesome just to see hard work pay off, especially for him. Well, hey, uh, this season obviously has been a good one at the plate for you. Um, you're having a lot of success as of late. Um, just want to ask you just real quick about the walk-off. Is that your first walk-off home run? Uh, how many walk-offs have you had? Uh, I had one in high school, but nothing quite like that one. Uh, tell me about what the process was like going, you know, into the draft coming out of high school and the decision to sign and, and not entertain any offers to, to play collegiately first. It was a relatively slow start. I didn't play much travel ball or go to many showcases. I mainly just played for my high school and played some other sports. And my, my senior year, I had one college offer. And going into that year, it was more of a coincidence that one of the Brewers scouts saw me and then he saw me, came back a few times and went to a, a Brewers showcase because I was invited to that and did well and then ended up getting drafted by the Brewers. What were the circumstances around the, the coincidence that you mentioned? Uh, just so much I hadn't been as exposed as some of the other guys who normally get drafted out of high school are, going to perfect game showcases, playing for area codes and other things like that. Hey, I know that uh, you're from – the central part of, of California, not necessarily the central Valley, but the, I guess it is the Valley, uh, the Fresno area. Uh, yep. What's your relationship like with, uh, with Jake Gatewood? He was a guy that was a fan favorite here. Do you know Jake at all? I do. Yes. We, we hit together in off season. We actually went to the same high school. He was there just uh, a year before my, my freshman year. So I've got to know him very well over the last couple of years. He's actually been a great mentor for me, just more on the mental side of baseball and what to expect going into my, my first real minor league season. So he's been a really big help. Hey, your dad was a bullpen catcher with the Cubs. I know that he pitched in the, uh, the minors. Um, how is, you know, that him working just with you and how much have you been able to learn from him? It's been great. He learned a lot of things from the catchers with the Cubs when he was doing that. And same things he's been more teaching me and just getting to be around that is a, a big experience factor and getting to be around major league baseball. And I got to be a bat boy a few times for the game. And it's, it's really cool up there. So were you a Cubs fan then? I was, yeah. And right <laughs> up until I got drafted by the Brewers. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to answer that. Absolutely. Up yeah. until, yep. Yeah, then you make the switch. Uh, so what's the future for you? Obviously we're here at the end of the season. What's uh, what's next. Um, I would like to, to go home and work out, work out a lot more in the off season, put on some more weight, and then hopefully if the chance comes up, be able to go play some winter ball in maybe Australia. Okay. What's, uh, what's that process like? Um, at first, I have to get my, my passport all set up, and then once I do that, I can head over there, I think, in November, and they have a 50-game season. It'll be really beneficial just to get some more at-bats in the winter seasons. Did you talk to Alex all about that at all, about how to get set up and how to get the ball rolling on that? I did, yep, and he's been yeah. a big help. He was, he's been my roommate, and he's been pushing for me to go play over there as well. Very cool, very cool. Now, I, I did hear kind of through the grapevine that uh, you, in order to get there, you have to have your passport obviously approved, and uh, you might need to expedite that. I've gone through that process, having to have my passport expedited to, to call games for a soccer team that I worked with a number of years ago. And it is not a fun process because it, uh, it's a lot of work to get it in real quick. Uh, but I, I heard that you uh, coincidentally might've found a way to get some help to, to get that pushed through. 
I did. Yes. Originally, I was trying to expedite my passport through the post office. And because of COVID and everything going on right now, they told me it would be 12 to 15 week process, which wouldn't be in time for me to be able to go over there. They did give me one option, though, and that was to be able to talk to a congressperson. And at first I was thinking, man, how the heck am I going to meet someone like that? And just so happens the next day, uh, a congresswoman showed up at the game and I went and introduced myself and told her my problem I was having. And she said she'd be more than happy to help me out. So it all ended up working out. Oh, wow. That was, uh, yeah, Senator Crawford was here to throw out the first pitch. Just, I just they, they had reached out to see if we could set that up and we did. And glad that we did now because it sounds like it helped you a lot. We'll, we'll make sure to, to get you in touch with her and, and get that all set up. Yep. Thank you for that. Well, hey, thank you for, for your time and uh, stay hot, man. It's a great way to finish the year and it's been fun to watch and uh, keep it rolling. Sounds good. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me.